Turn signal on. Rear view camera on. Jeep, why is this not a factory option? Today we're addressing three things that have been annoying me with the JL so far, and we can do it all with this one single mod. This is called the Taser JL from Z Automotive, and this one is the Taser Mini. Uh, there are a couple different versions, but this one is meant to stay plugged in and uh, installed in your Jeep permanently. Um, but it's gonna allow me to address three things that have been annoying me, but as well, it's got a bunch of other features and functionality, including adjusting for the new tire size. All right, so it is recommended to update the firmware first on your computer. There's a little USB port on the side of this and a cable in the box. And we're gonna plug this in and go through the configurations and we're gonna fix those three things that have been annoying me. We're also gonna adjust for the new tire size, the 37s that we just put on. And there's some other features and cool things that we can do with it that are sort of preference based. And I'll, I'll walk through a few of those with you in this video. And uh, and there's a kind of a bonus feature that I'll tell you about at the end. I just gotta remove this panel below the steering wheel. It's all just pressure clips, pretty straightforward. Two plugs, there's the OBD2 port. And now without this panel in the way, I've, I've gotta push the little tabs on the back of these in and pull the wires down and then we're gonna plug the taser in. There's one, pretty easy. Just getting your fingers around to the tab. They're definitely easy to push in the tab. They're not like light connectors and stuff like that. But now we've got these two connectors here and we're gonna pop on the taser onto these wires. And they're different, so you can't really mess it up. Look at that. And there we go. And this is meant to stay connected. So I think once we're done here, I'll just zip tie this up put the panel back on. Just turn the Jeep on, I didn't start it. And we need to go to the radio menu. Just held down this arrow here. And while I'm holding that, I cycled through the menu with the cancel or the left button on this control until I got to Mary. Once we're at Mary, which we have to marry the device to the vehicle, we have to be holding down this left arrow and then you can hit the cruise control on off button, I guess as an okay button. So I, I think what it sounds like is anytime we need to make changes, we're holding this left arrow down and making changes over here. So now we can see it's counting down. So the J taser's marrying to my Jeep and then we can start using the menu. And there we have, it says married. So now we've got all of these different options here. Off-road, other, the version, full reboot, light show, uh, diagnostic trouble codes, clear check engine lights, unmarry, performance, TPMS, radio, lighting. Okay, we're back to lighting. All right, so what is the first thing that I want to change with this? Well, it's the auto park feature. That's the basically the feature. If you undo your seatbelt and open the door, it automatically goes into park. And that can be a little bit annoying off when I'm off-roading because it's not uncommon that I might have my door open and I'm looking out the side or I'm moving my vehicle forward in a line or something like that. And I don't know, I guess it's to prevent people from falling out. So I'm gonna disable that first. Uh, we're gonna go through the menu and figure out where that is. I wanna turn off auto park so that it doesn't slam into park anymore out of drive. Uh, when I undo my seatbelt and open the door. Let it boot up. And then we're gonna go through our menus. So, unfortunately I can't hold the camera and do this all at the same time, but we're gonna hold this button here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go down to the radio menu, hold the left arrow and hit the cancel button. So now we've got light show and we've got in motion on. We're gonna hit the center button here. And now it says in motion off. That is supposed to disable the auto park feature. Now I believe I have to stop and start the vehicle or turn it on and off a couple times for this to be activated. 
So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna fully let it turn off, you know, by just opening the door and we'll fire it back up. I know you guys have commented about turning on and off the diesel, but this is just how it's gotta be right now. And we'll check our menu. In motion is still off. And let's see if the auto park feature is fixed. So do my seatbelt. Gonna go in reverse. And then we'll go and put it in drive. We will take my seatbelt off. I'm in my driveway. Open the door. It says vehicle not in park. Oh, auto park still engaged. Okay. All right, so I cycled the ignition one more time. Just turned it off fully, opened the door, let everything shut down. And now we are in drive. And if you undo your seatbelt and pop the door open, vehicle not in park, but it's not shifting. So now with the door open, we are still rolling forward. It says vehicle not in park still in drive door open and we are rolling forward so i'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to disable that safety feature but even when i took it out on that one short test run uh, i actually had this issue a couple times because i was just trying to move forward especially because i'm out putting cameras down and i want to roll forward a little bit and things like that so gonna disable that feature all right the second thing i want to fix and actually i don't have to do anything once the taser jl is installed uh, it automatically gives me this option and that is disabling or at least remembering my auto start stop feature the auto start stop feature is super annoying on the diesel and I'm not too sure how good it is on the engine to constantly be stopping at a light or when we're on a trail and we stop and we're waiting uh, unless we're in four low so when the taser jail is installed automatically it will remember your previous setting on your auto stop start feature. So if I leave auto start stop disabled, the next time I start up my Jeep, it's going to stay disabled. That's what the light is. So I don't know why, I don't know why you can't just set that and have it automatically remember your preference. Otherwise, without this, every time you start your Jeep, you have to hit that button or it's going to stop when the vehicle is not in motion. So that's super annoying and easily fixed with the Taser JL. The third thing that I wanna change, and that is with the backup camera. Now, the backup camera on the JL is just really high resolution and super clear. And I thought that this would be super handy when I'm off the when I'm on the trail to see who is behind me because I don't have the best visibility out the back of my window with the tire so why not use the camera if i could just leave that on and and also my daughter thought that was kind of cool to be able to see behind us the backup camera will turn off i think after about 30 seconds even if you turn it on we go into the taser jail menu we see there is one called video and if we uh, hit the button here video back we now have the back camera on all the time and we can double tap the mute button whenever we want to bring up the camera, which is kind of cool. And that will stay on perpetually. So now I can see behind me all the time. If I make sure somebody's behind me on the trail, if I'm making a turn, or if my daughter just wants to watch the camera behind us, that's kind of cool. If we go into the Taser JL menu, a secondary feature to this as well is that we have turn camera. So we can actually turn camera on, and now when we go to make a turn, that'll actually turn on the camera as well. So if we turn the video off, and we put our turn signal on, it's gonna turn the camera on, which is kinda cool. Just lets you see a little bit more. You may or may not like the feature. Now that isn't the bonus feature. So what is the bonus feature? Well, if we go through the menus, we have one called radio, 
If we go in there, we have one called cargo cam. So if we set that cargo cam to yes, the 8.4 inch screens in the JL have an additional video input. And that is going to allow us to enable the cargo cam feature, which now we can install a camera anywhere we want. And Z Automotive, which makes the Taser JL, makes a front mounted camera for the grill, just like the Gladiator. So we're gonna be installing that in an upcoming video. And if you wanna see that, make sure you are subscribed. So the Taser JL has lots of other features. I'm gonna be using it also to adjust for my larger tire size now and adjust my speedometer so that it's not out and fuel economy calculations. I'm also gonna set it to disable the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system, um, because I don't have any tire pressure monitors in my new wheels and tires. But you can do things like turn on the alarm for if the hood gets opened, if you're worried about stuff you know, you may have installed under your hood. That's pretty cool. There's a line lock feature. If you want to burn some tires off, you can lock the front brakes, do burnouts. There's zero to 60 timers. If you want to just see how fast your Jeep is, it allows you to engage the lockers in two wheel drive or four wheel high, which if you have a Rubicon, you can't actually turn on the lockers uh, if you are not in four low. And a not sure if there's a maximum speed on that, but as well, the sway bar disconnect, you can turn on at any speeds. And there's some cool features like a light show where you can flash a bunch of the lights in a different pattern. There's also dark mode. You can completely have your vehicle go completely black out. We're gonna be adding that front camera in a future video, so don't miss that one. And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. I appreciate it a lot, and it helps my videos get noticed more on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.